I'm probably just a big giant nerd and I'm trying to insert drama and excitement into a big giant nerd thing. Welcome to Money Med School, where doctors come to learn about money. Okay, we're back. So you're good to go. You've got your, your brokerage account, you have the money in it, and you're ready to buy your shares once they're available. Part two. So step one, after you open your Fidelity brokerage account, you will receive what they're calling the second email from Fidelity and it's called Invitation to Participate. And it looks like this, Invitation to Participate, Doximity Reserved Share Program. Okay, if you do not receive this email, you need to call Fidelity because they've been having some technical difficulties and they need to do it manually if that's the case. Okay, once that is done, step two is you're going to click the link in your email that says, please access the Doximity RSP website. Click here. So you're going to come on down here, and it's right here. Please access the Doximity RSP website. Click here. It's going to bring you over here to the Fidelity.com Doximity Reserve Share Program website. And here you see the steps you must take to participate in this offering. And it takes you through the checklist. So step one, open account. So I've already done that and it says it's complete. Step two, review the preliminary prospectus. This is that 220 page, 22 page document that I told you all about. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's this. Let me bring it in the screen here. Okay, this is the prospectus. And like I said, it's 222 pages of money nerd gossip, basically. It goes over, just like with an informed consent, it goes over all the risks and benefits of purchasing Doximity stock at the IPO price. This is not, nothing's written in stone right now. Okay, so they are offering all these shares, it says and they're anticipating the share price between 20 and 23 dollars they are going to be sold on the new york stock exchange under the symbol docs okay it goes on to describe uh, the type a uh, class a common stock and class b common stock it tells you the underwriters morgan stanley goldman sachs and jp morgan these are the banks actually there's multiple little banks under here too those are the banks that are underwriting this stock offering. And what it's going to do is talk all about the company. It's going to give you stats on how the company is doing. Um, it gives you all the financials of the company. It shows you the profits. It shows you um, who's getting paid what. It shows you any legal issues the company is facing. And it also goes over a list of all of the anticipated problems that this company could have. Here you go, risk factors. Um, talks about management executive computation, nerd gossip right there. And it goes over everything. So you've got to read this before you participate in an, in an investment because you need to understand the investment. It's quite fascinating actually. Okay, we have read the 222 page preliminary prospectus. And now that we've done our informed consent, we don't want fucking shit to do with this shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Ha, huh. it's great. Okay, number four, complete the FINRA rule 5130 qualifying questions. Naturally, um, these are questions that you answer to make sure you don't have a conflict of interest. For example, you or someone in your family is a stock professional, things like that. Step three. So now we're going to view the offering, complete the FINRA rule 5130 qualifying questions and enter your indication of interest. And here it tells you the offering, the public offerings calendar, the company name, what type of share, it's a directed share, meaning special for us, lower price. Expected price range 20 to 23 dollars. Expected price date is 623 when the price would be announced. 
and it's new and technology is the industry. If you decide to continue, you'll be asked a series of questions uh, required by the uh, Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, FINRA, which will determine your ability to participate in this offer. Continue. Qualifying questions. Are you or a member of your immediate family, an employee or director of the issuer, the issuer's parent, or a subsidiary of the issuer or issuer's parent? No. Are you or anyone with a beneficial interest in this account a restricted person, which includes broker, dealer, personnel, finders, you know, all of this. Are you a financial professional? No. And then step five, you're going to enter your indication of interest, your IOI. And this has to be done by 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, June 22nd, next Tuesday. Tell them how many shares you want. You're requesting to purchase. You're not actually purchasing. Okay, so and then you get to the page where it says enter indication of interest. Your indication of interest must be between 5 and 1,000 shares in one share increments. Well, that's interesting. Let's see, because last time I checked, 20 times 1,000 equals 20,000. But the maximum allotted, they, they said in the letter that they cap our participation at $5,000. So, hmm, not quite sure about that. Let's just see what I can get away with here. Well, all right, I put in a thousand just to see what would happen. <laughs> and it's letting me do it. But again, this is just a request. This is not any kind of binding contract. This is not a purchase. It's just saying, hey, I want to buy a thousand shares. So anywho, we'll see what actually ends up being allotted. Anyway, once again, an indication of interest for the amount of a thousand shares of Doximity. I'm just doing this as a test to see if I could get that in there and it let me enter it. Probably going to go back and change that. With a price range of 20 to $23 will be recorded. To remain eligible to receive an allocation of shares, you must confirm your indication of interest for between 6 p.m. Eastern and midnight on the date of effectiveness, which is expected to be June 23rd. Okay? In addition, you should check the website or phone number frequently for any offering updates or changes to this offering. Now, your indication of interest has been received by Fidelity. This does not complete the process. There are still steps you must take. Once again, you have to confirm your indication of interest on the evening of the pricing date, pricing night. All right, so once that's all done, you're ready. June 23rd, Wednesday night, between 6 p.m. and 12 a.m., there is a six hour window during which time the stock price will be announced. You are going to get an email from Fidelity during this six hour window. It's going to tell you the stock price. You need to reply during the six hour window. You need to reply to Fidelity and tell them how many shares you want to buy. Once you know the stock price, then you'll know how much $5,000 is going to get you, how many shares it's going to get you, or however much money you want to invest, you'll know how many shares you can purchase with that. You're going to confirm your intent of, of interest, your indication of interest, your IOI. You're going to confirm that by email with Fidelity. All right, this is the stock price. I want to buy this many shares. You tell them how many shares you want to buy. They're going to follow up with you and they're going to tell you, uh, we'll tell you how many shares you're going to get. So, you could get all of the shares you wanted, you could get some of the shares you wanted, or you could get none of the shares you wanted. Eh, we'll see. I highly doubt that they're gonna tell you there's no shares. Okay, so next, after the night of pricing, which to me sounds like All Hallows Eve, like the night before the day of the dead, or the night of pricing, the night of mischief, mischief night. It sounds like mischief night with Halloween. Anywho. So after the night of pricing and you've toilet papered your neighbor's house, it's June 28th is the day of settlement. To me, this sounds like the day of reckoning. All of these things sound very dramatic. The night of pricing and the day of settlement. 
night of mischief and the day of reckoning. Anyway, I'm probably just a big giant nerd and I'm trying to insert drama and excitement into a big giant nerd thing. Anyway, I entertain myself. So, Okay, so June 28th, the day of settlement, AKA the day of allocation, this is when you get your shares. Um, you will receive them at nine o'clock in the morning. And this is also the same day that the stock becomes publicly traded. The stock is actually gonna be traded on the New York Stock Exchange, which I was a little surprised because um, Doximity is considered a tech stock, it's an app. And so typically tech stocks are traded on NASDAQ on that particular exchange, but whatever. In this case, it's going on the NYSE. And its ticker symbol is going to be DOCS. Very cute. The uh, New York Stock Exchange opens at 9.30 in the morning and it's off to the races. So it's gonna be interesting to see what the price changes to once it opens. After 9.30, it's regular market hours. If you are watching, and we're gonna be watching, um, because I'm gonna post updates on how this goes. We're gonna, we're gonna watch it, and if at 9.30 in the morning you start watching and it starts shooting up, and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna take profits, you can sell it. Um, if it starts plummeting into the toilet, I would recommend not doing anything because uh, we could always come back up. We'd have no idea what it's gonna do. So, um, but I highly doubt it's gonna plummet into the toilet upon opening. Now it could happen, I, you know, a few hours later or a few days later, sure. Um, but we're not gonna be negative. Let's not take a trip to negative town, shall we? <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Um, and I'm going to be making videos as we go. So I'll be updating you on the process, how the stock performs, and I will keep updating you until I sell it. Lucky you. you. You are going to be on the edge of your seats, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. All right, well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to this channel. All right, take care, have a good one.